It's the Trinity MMO Show. Now we are into our next section, okay? So more of our opinions. This time around, it's our escort quest, where we lead you to safety, XP, and the adventure of a lifetime, which I need to turn into an actual audio clip when I turn this over, but not yet, okay. 2020 is not quite over yet. A lot of us are waiting for the world, not the world, the year to end. <laughs> the world, <laughs> Waiting for the year to end. And on one level, I'm thinking, hold off, hold off. Let 2020 just expire itself out so that basically nothing carries over to 2021, even though we're already seeing some indicators of things being canceled next year. So my curiosity question was, uh, did we gain or lose in 2020? Online games are online. And we have been online. So has there been an increase in online gaming? What's interesting is that I started off earlier this show with my, my daughter talking about the fact that she has spent, now that she's been coveting from home, working from home, you know, she's in the game industry, so she does her computer stuff and she does her game stuff. She is less inclined, even though she wears the, the blue glasses, she's feeling some eye strain. She's only 26. Feeling some eye strain. And she deliberately makes sure she's off of Discord, off of emails, everything else. So she's less inclined to be online because of that. So I started wondering about the whole thing about whether or not COVID, the whole being being online, has been a not as a boom for games and online games, but maybe a bust because, well, so far you have delays in games, people maybe just wanting to get out of their house because they're tired of being at, cooped up. Maybe it's even less because usually summertime is the drop off. So everyone's outside playing around in the fall they come back so Jazia, sorry solomon what do you think okay do you think there's been a drop off you know is there a, a change <sighs> statistically i don't think so i think okay. if i remember correctly youtube has been on its highest profits since oh, really yeah like since since the whole pandemic started i think they've been making the the numbers because like usually the numbers will spike in terms of youtube um profitability during the week weekends because obviously you know everybody has their day off more time to spare so they'll watch videos but if i recall in their last in their last financial report they said that it's been constant they've been getting weekend numbers constantly even on the weekdays up until now and uh, in terms of AdSense revenue, I mean, you know, those are in the billions, obviously. So they're making a killing right now. And I know that's not really correlates to actual wins or loses in terms of online games. But I would still say that in terms of the content that's being consumed, especially with streaming and especially with um, videos or VODs on YouTube that relate to video games, such, such as the stuff that I make, that kind of also ties into the sort of popularity of YouTube right now that's that, that they're going through. So overall, like, it's really hard to say. I think also with that goes, uh, that is also very in line with that. Um, a lot of industries, unfortunately, has been hit because of the pandemic. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious no matter where you live right now. But one of the industries that hasn't really hit that hit that been hit really hard, if at all, is the video game industry. Because as a matter of fact, a lot a lot of more people have been buying video games because they have all this time to spare. Uh, and you know, video games these days aren't all that standard sixty dollars anymore. Well, it's going up to seventy dollars, and, and we're kind of seeing that already. But for sure, we're going to see that in twenty twenty one. But you know, you see a lot of indie developers out there that will charge five bucks for a game. Uh, for example, um, Among Us is only like five bucks for the PC and it's free on the phone. Right. Uh, you have other RPGs out there that's like 10, 20 bucks. And so there's a wide variety of price ranges in terms of what kind of game uh, would fit your budget. So I'm just saying overall, uh, game sales have been through the roof. If you look at the sort of the data that has been collected, um, I believe from Steam, from Steam and Epic Games, like you'll, you'll see like a chart and it's tapering off on the high end of things uh, again ever since the whole pandemic started so um so i think it's a mixed bag because again then then that begs the question if 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 video games are making record profits by selling it why are they still hiking up the price up to 70 dollars? and in my opinion and i know that's a huge different story i think it's just pure greed 
I I usually don't say anything is greed until like you have solid proof. But given the reasoning that video game the video game industry hasn't really suffered that much as, uh, during this pandemic, and they're still gonna hike up the price. Yeah, I think that that's I can't help but say that's pretty shady. That's pretty shady. And now the fact that not many people will be able to afford it because a lot of us aren't working, myself included. Um, but again, that's that's a different story. I, I I'm sorry to digress. Uh, so well, that's a good statement. I mean, the games have been fifty six bucks, fifty to sixty bucks for like twenty years. Right. Okay. So going up to seventy bucks doesn't mean it's like a big deal. But you're a good point. If they're still making profit, why are you jacking it up? You know, record and, and profit back, too. And back, and back then, there was also a lot more shipping out. You played for the plastic or the cardboard, the disc, mm -hmm. and so there's a lot more physicality in the game now. Being electronic, you, all you gotta do is put it on you know, a server somewhere and poop, people can bring it up. So I, exactly. yeah, that's a good, interesting thought. Okay. I mean, I, I haven't really seen, I mean, I have to me personally, I didn't see like it's been a big drip dip, sorry, dip, big dip in your overall space. You know, I see people on all the time. Um, I haven't really been rating. So I haven't really seen whether or not there's been a dip in the overall, I mean, destiny two always goes through its dry cycles, which is why when I was on well, months ago is no one was really there because it's waiting for the next DLC coming up. Uh, I have not been raiding ESO or World of Warcraft, so I haven't really seen it personally. But it just feels like people are online. They haven't really gone anywhere. But maybe it's just the way they're engaging, interacting. Maybe it's not necessarily the fact they're not online. They're just not maybe playing the same games. They're looking more for community games or more interactive games to keep them like watching a TV show. So Cyan says, because like all companies, they're in the business, make money. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so Jazia, what are your thoughts on this? Well, there's, there's going to be a lot of factors at play, but I, I think I, I think one of the major factors is the onset of, of acute depression really is, is going on with a lot of folks right now. I think at first, when this whole thing started and we started being stay in place and people were working from home before all the furloughs and layoffs were, were yeah. happening and causing a lot of people to be out of work. And, and honestly, that, that first stimulus uh, check here in the U S was great, but uh, you know, that only went so far. And for a lot of people that only lasted for a month, if you're accounting for that, they're furloughed, there's no money coming in and that's rent. That's, your electric and gas bill that's you know all all of the the uh food and whatnot that you got to provide for your family um i so i think at first it felt kind of like a little bit of a vacation um i i know it certainly felt that's that way point. yeah for my family so we were like hey we've got more time to be playing video games you know and that was what we did and as time went on and money started getting tighter and again uh just working in you know the fact that a lot of people are out of work a lot of my friends and family are struggling to make ends meet and this has gone on and we're stuck in the house and yeah we didn't get to go you know there were no disneyland trips this year or magic mountain or whatever theme park is in your neck of the woods um, you know, there were no going to the beach this year. There was no going up and uh it was mentioned, you know, that there's a camping section on on there, which I totally forgot about actually, because most people he's right, the Salman's right, most people do to go to just chatting. Uh, yep. but there were no camping trips this summer, and even our pool here at my complex was closed the whole summer. It was locked. You couldn't get in. They've locked the gym, all the gyms are closed. Um, and you can't even go get a drink, you know, the bars are closed. Yeah. Uh, not that we should be frequently bars, but you know, I just, I'm just saying that all these forms of entertainment pool halls and, and, and all the other things that we used to do, you know, we're stuck at home, uh, and just our immediate surroundings here, you know, and we're even doing doctor's appointments online and whatnot. And it just leads you to seclusion and it leads you to feeling a lot more alone than what we're used to because we're used to going to work, being surrounded by people and yeah. um, being able to go to the grocery store uh, and all those other things that were just normal daily life. 
And so that vacation um, perspective or point of view that we had for that first couple of months is that's gone now. Yeah. And, you know, I was, I was talking about my fatigue and whatnot. And, and uh, you know, I think that's a separate issue from even myself this past week. I just haven't felt like gaming all that much. And uh, it's just kind of like, you know, I'm still cooking meals and still taking care of myself, still taking care of my kids and all that. But that enjoyment is, is kind of gone. It's like, it's, I, I want to go back to work. You know, I want to get back to, you know, for me, it's back to teaching Sunday school, back to teaching Awanas on Wednesdays and uh, being able to actually go see my doctor. I mean, that some of you will say, well, I don't want to go to the doctor, but for me, that was <laughs> you know, part of my yeah. fun every month was right. going and chit chatting with my doctor and with the nurses and yep. you know, uh you know. Um and even things like when you came down to California and whatnot, you know, that that would have been more realistic if we didn't have all this you know, restrictions and whatnot and yep, and uh all these the things that we've talked about uh with like well in Europe they had the uh the um, conventions and whatnot are being shut down even for next year. And we've had, you know, BlizzCon talking about World of Warcraft. I mean, you know, BlizzCon's been canceled except for the online stuff. And I miss San Diego Comic Con this year. Uh, you know, so it's like, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of in this funk right now. And I, so I could absolutely see it and i've seen statistics saying both so i don't know who to believe and again we've talked about this before i took statistics in junior college it's so it's been a while it was back in like 94 95 sometimes so it's been a while but i remember that teacher was very pessimistic and and skeptical about and cynical especially about statistics and he was like people will lie through numbers numbers don't always tell the truth right yeah and i've seen both sides of this i i've i've looked at the statistics for steam and ubisoft and all the other big names out there blizzard and you know they they tell one story and then you get the stockholders and some of the other people telling a different story and it's so it's like i as far as being in an mmo Elder Scrolls Online and uh, World of Warcraft for me, I haven't seen with my own eyes a decline in numbers. And it hasn't been any more difficult to run a dungeon or, a well, raids are a little different because World of Warcraft, the reason that there's a lull right now is everyone is, you just said it, Kenneth, and just right. a little bit ago, waiting. everyone's waiting for the next expansion. So they're just doing like leveling alts or uh, they have going and games. watching, you know, catching up on on episodes that they missed of The Walking Dead or whatever. Uh, you know, it's like they're doing other things, in other words, because they're just waiting. Um, there's nothing really to do of substance in in, in MMOs right now, except for the ones that just like Graymore. Yeah, content. There's still stuff coming out for ESO. Uh, Final Fantasy's had a couple of little things done that people can do, but other than that, uh, that's where the lull is coming in. I think you guys both expressed it very well, especially considering the fact that we are in that you know that time now. We're in the fall. Fall is already the time when people get back indoors. And you start seeing people get a little bit more like, wow, I'm indoors now. I can't go outside because it's raining or snowing or cold, whatever it is, right? Right. But now, it's also the realization that we are still indoors and we are still coveting. We are still working in place. And it's like, when are we going to get out of this? What's the rest of the year? And I think people are trying to figure out that new normal and what they're going to do. And I don't think they want to be online all the time. They're trying to find a way to get out without necessarily getting out. They're trying to find a way to temper their, their viewing pleasure on here. With, I mean, like, I don't know if that means like getting to, into person for a board game or just read a book. Maybe we'll see a lot more. Maybe the, maybe the book sales from Amazon has gone up because people are buying more books and reading or 
just engaging people in a different way. That's a good point. So maybe that's what it is. We are seeing a change. I think that you know we did see a loss in regards to some games being delayed. That hurts, but it also helps because again, if you're going to make a game good, make sure it's done right. You could use COVID as an excuse. Everyone's going to forgive you right now, including investors. But uh, sure. down the road, it will change. So it will change. All right. I certainly hope we gave you the XP and the adventure of a lifetime you were looking for. That's in for our escort quest today. Check out the further adventures of Kenneth Thun by liking and subscribing and watching me live on twitch.tv slash Kenneth Thun.